What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your fingerprints for your Touch ID on your Mac OS. This works for most Macs, so you like your iMacs, your MacBook Pros, your MacBook Airs, anything that has the Touch ID or the fingerprint scanner will work with this video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump on over to the computer and let's get going. Okay, so let's get started with this. It's really easy to do. You will need to be an admin of your Mac or at least have an admin password in order to make these changes. But you're gonna come up to the Apple menu and then open up your system preferences. And then you're gonna look for the option that says Touch ID. It's like a white circle with a red fingerprint icon on it. Go ahead and open up that section. And now we're in the section to add your Touch ID. Now you can use this to unlock your Mac, Apple Pay, iTunes. And once we've added a fingerprint, we'll be able to select which ones we want. So if you want somebody to be able to gain access to your Mac but not use it for Apple Pay, you can check the necessary boxes to do that. So let's start off by adding a fingerprint. So we're gonna left click on it. You will need to have the admin password, like I said, so go ahead and type that in now. And then it says place your finger, lift and rest your finger on the Touch ID repeatedly. As you do it, this little fingerprint animation is going to uh, fully fill up with a red coloring. And once it's done that, then you've done the job. So we're gonna go ahead and lift. Almost there, there we go. So you can see it's all the way uh, lit up red. It says Touch ID is ready. Your fingerprint can be used to unlock your Mac. You can click on done. Now from here, some of these will be turned on by default. You can obviously go through and check off the ones that you want to have permissions for that specific fingerprint. And then of course, if you want to add another one, you can click on add fingerprint and do that process all over again and modify the checklist for that specific fingerprint. Now, if you want to remove a fingerprint, maybe you want to remove access to somebody, uh, all you need to do is hover over the fingerprint that you want to remove, and then you can click on the little X, and that's going to remove the fingerprint. You can also rename the fingerprint, which is pretty cool. So uh, in this case, I can just say Aaron. So let's go ahead and remove that. We've got it hovered over here. Let's click on the X. It says, are you sure you want to permanently delete the fingerprint, Aaron? You're going to click on delete and that will remove it. It may ask you to use your fingerprint. It may ask you to use your admin once again to make that deletion complete. Uh, but other than that, you can go ahead and give it a try once you've done it. You can actually press the Touch ID scanner is actually a quick hotkey for lock. If you didn't know that, you can actually click it and it will lock your computer and then you can test the fingerprint to see if it will let you back in. Worst case scenario, the fingerprint didn't work very well. You can go in and reset it up or you can use your admin password to log back into the machine in order to get back into the settings. So there you have it, really easy to do. Some like it, some don't. I like it specifically because it allows you to use your fingerprint instead of like your admin password. You can also use it to approve purchases. And then of course you can use it to log into your machine uh, once it's been logged in uh, for the first time. So if it's you've been logged out of your computer for a while, you do have to type in the password. But anytime after that throughout the day, you can use your fingerprint to get in there. So like I said, that's all there is to it. That's going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Of course, if you liked it, be sure to give it a like, share the video, and while you're down there, be sure to subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.